Hey everybody, so I've been covering a lot of smartphones lately, almost too much because Chinese brands just won't chill right now. There's like a release every like two weeks. Not that I'm complaining, but I'm a little bit glad to be trying something different in this video because after all, my channel's name is Ben's Gadget Reviews, not Ben's Phone Reviews. So I have here a wearable translator. So, um, when I open up the box, you'll see this is not like a true unboxing. I've already opened up and played with it, but I wanted to show you guys the unboxing experience because this packaging is very nice for a portable translator. So you see, it looks like a really fat version of the AirPods. So it's like a earpiece that you stick into your ear and it will translate your conversation in real time, either hands-free or pressing a button. Now the hands-free part is new because Previously, other translators I've tried, you need to press a button to speak into it. It's like a walkie-talkie. This one will pick up different languages in real time and I'll show you as best as I can right now because I'm doing this by myself. We have a little case here. And um, the earbuds, I think I forgot to turn them off. I think they were, they were already on. So you see, it's like pretty nicely built. Feels like a really bulky, version of the airpods or other wireless earbuds so you open it up and then it snaps together magnetically it's pretty sturdy and then charged via micro usb and you have and right here you get a little tote bag oh not a tote bag it's a little uh cloth bag and then you have some papers and instructions but you don't really need these because i find it to be very easy to use all you need to do is download the companion app which you do so by scanning the QR code. So they have a companion app uh, for iOS and Android. And then you have a charging cable here, micro USB charging cable and some additional ear tips to help it fit into your ear better. So the 36 languages that are covered, I'm just gonna show it right here on the screen. They, they include a lot of stuff, man. They include Arabic, Bulgarian, Cantonese, Catalan, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, Finnish, Hindi, German, French, Romania, Spanish, Swedish, you know, all that. Thai, Turkish, Vietnamese. Now, I'm particularly excited because it supports Cantonese. So Cantonese is the language that we speak here in Hong Kong. It's a dialect of Chinese, but it sounds completely different from like the normal Chinese that you would hear out of China. So in China, they speak Mandarin, AKA Potonghua. Now, unfortunately, as much as I love Cantonese because it's very colorful and very slangy, it is not the official language of China. And because Hong Kong is relatively small, so Cantonese is not as useful as Potonghua, Mandarin on a global scale. So like everyone, all these white dudes that you hear about that are trying to learn Chinese, like Mark Zuckerberg, all of them are learning Potonghua. They're not learning Cantonese. So this is how you use it. You basically, you put one into your ear and then you give the other person one to put into his or her ear. And after that, you two can speak your own language and it'll translate in real time. So that means if, I'm sp if, if I've said it so that I'm gonna speak Cantonese and the other person speaks Japanese, we can talk at the same time and it'll be a free flowing conversation. Now I've already tried this. So this is the app. So auto mode, it's what I just described. It's basically you guys each wear in your ear and speak in real time. Touch mode um, requires you to tap into it to speak. So that's like a more foolproof way to, to do it. So you don't want the two receivers to mix up and pick up the other language. Although for my testing, it's pretty accurate. And then yeah, speak mode, this one uses the phone. So you don't, you, this one you use one of these and a phone. But we'll check auto mode really quick. So now I've said it so English, as the speaking language on one and then we'll do Cantonese on the other because Cantonese is my natural language and also it's Catalan and Catalan it's part of Spain that's kind of it's its own dialect. Catalan it's very similar to Cantonese from what I hear in terms of the history, culture, all that. So right now I see it's already picking up what I'm saying here. Okay it's not quite showing here but basically I said testing can you hear me? This receiver picked it up and then it came out as Cantonese right here. You can only hear this if your ear is um, wearing this. So obviously it's hard to show on video, but I'll try as much as I can. You see right now it's picking up all this. Let's see if it picks up. We'll see if it plays in Cantonese. So I'm putting the receiver by my mic 
that's how it's picking up um it's a little bit clunky right now because that's such a long piece we'll do something a little shorter hello how do i get to the airport So I don't know if that picked up on camera, but that is a very accurate translation. I said, how do I get to the airport? And then it says, Lei Ho, All right, so now I'm going to speak Cantonese. So in theory, this earpiece should pick up the Cantonese and play out English here. So you see that these are smart earbuds because they're not getting the two languages confused. Like if I'm speaking English, this one picks up. If I'm speaking Cantonese, this one picks up. Lei Song Wei Gei Cheng Wei Da Ba Si Lo. So you see, I said, take a bus to the airport and it translate pretty well. So this is really funky showing off, off the earpiece right now. So I'm just gonna go back to playing off the phone, but just take my word for it, that if you wear this and you set your language to say Japanese, and then you give it to a person in Italy and you set to Italian, you two can have a conversation and it'll translate. And for the most part, from what I see, it's picking up Cantonese and English very, very accurately. And that's impressive because Cantonese is, again, a very slangy language. Okay, so I finally found a living person, my girlfriend. She speaks Spanish. So what we're going to do is I'm going to speak Cantonese to her. She's going to speak Spanish to me. And she'll translate right here. Okay, so we'll begin. Le ho ma. So you see, I picked it up. She said, Mi color favorito es el azul. Her favorite color is blue, and it came out correctly in Cantonese. Me gusta bailar. Me gusta bailar. She likes to dance. I don't know if that's accurate. Was that accurate? accurate yeah. Okay, good. So we know that it works with Cantonese and Spanish. Okay, so now we'll try the touch mode. So touch mode requires you to actually actually put your finger onto this touch button. It's a capacitive button, so you don't press into it and to re begin translating. So this will probably come in handy if you're in a room with a lot of loud talking people because then they might actually mess up your automatic translation. So we'll test it really quick. Hello, what would you like to have for dinner? So that's a pretty accurate translation. It came out as Lei Ho, let's man chan sing mat. Okay, so let's try uh, speak mode and I'm gonna change the language to Japanese just to test. Um, obviously my Japanese, it's non-existent. So if you are a Jap, if you understand Japanese, Japanese viewers out there, Please leave a comment to let me know if the translation is on point. If the translation sucks, if it's broken Japanese, then please let me know. But I can vouch for the Cantonese. It's pretty legit. So, I'll speak what I know of Japanese, which is very little. Arigato. Thank you. Okay, so that's fine. Hello, how do I go to the supermarket? Konnichiwa. So I don't know how accurate this is. Again, Japanese viewers out there, please let me know if you know if you have the free time. I guess we'll do Potongwa. We'll see how my Potongwa lessons are going. Ni hao, wo shi meiji wa chiu. Hello, I'm an overseas Chinese American. Good. That's exactly what I'm, what I wanted to say. So next, I'm gonna say, uh, I would like an iced coffee. Wo sheng ke bing de. Cafe. I think coffee isn't a coffee. Okay, I, I think that's probably my fault. I probably spoke that very like messed up. I don't, I don't think it's the translator's fault. Let's try again. Um, I'm just going to say something more simple then. I'm Chinese or American. Okay, what I meant to say is I am Chinese and I'm American, but that's accurate enough. That's it for now. This is the WT2 Translator. It's available for 200 bucks on Amazon. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be back with more videos. Uh, my next video should be on the Realme 3 Pro. And then after that, it will be on the Oppo Reno. And then after that, probably a mysterious Honor device. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.